Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Can we put our hands together and give God praise? Hallelujah. Come on, let's put our hands together Hallelujah. and give the Lord great Hallelujah. praise. Hallelujah. For the Lord is good. Hallelujah. For the Lord is good. Hallelujah. For the Lord is good. Hallelujah. And his mercy endureth forever. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, magnify Hallelujah. the Lord with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us Hallelujah. exalt his name together. Let us exalt his name together. Let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. We give you all of the glory and the praise, Lord, for you are good. Amen. I'm going to ask you if you'll get your Bible. Hallelujah. And stand with us. Amen. And we're going to Psalms 3. Psalms 3. And if you can stand with us. Amen. And we're going to read this responsively. Amen. Today, God is so good. Psalms 3. Amen. And we'll be reading from the King James Version. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. Amen. For those that don't have it, I want you to just tell me to wait. Hold on one second. Did, did I hear somebody say wait? All right, we got it. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalms 3, started, I will start at the first verse, and you will read the next. Psalms 3 it says, Lord, how are they increased that troubled me? Many are they that rise up against me. Congregation, verse 2. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. My glory and the lifter up of mine head. Verse 4. I laid me down and slept. I awaked for the Lord sustained me. Verse 6. Arise, O Lord. Save me, O oh my God, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. We will all read verse 8 together. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Salah. Put your hands together. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 Lord. Come on, tell the Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Woo. Yes, Lord. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Hey, don't bye bye. You're not cool. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, clap your hands real fast and tell the Lord thank you. Tell the Lord thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the name of God. Hallelujah. Our Heavenly Father, as we come before you in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. We come before you, God, with thanksgiving, God. And I'm on this heart, God, thanking you for what you've already done. Not just today, God, not just yesterday, but down through our lives, Lord. God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for another Pentecost. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we ask you to be in our midst and to have your way. Oh, God, we ask you to manifest your power and your glory. God, we ask you if there is any, God. Oh, God, and I know every one of us needs something from you, God. Every one of us need a touch, God. Every one of us needs something to be fixed, God. Something to be made whole, God. Oh, God touches in every area of our lives, God. 
We ask you to save the lost, God. God, strengthen the saved, God. We claim the backslider. Heal the infirm and the diseased, God. Oh, God, we ask you in the name of Jesus, fill with the Holy Ghost. God, we give you glory, God. We give you honor and we give you praise, God. Now move in our midst like nobody else can, God. Do what only you can, God. Revive us again, God. Oh, God, strengthen us again, God. God, put fresh oil in our vessel, God. Oh, God, we give you praise and we give you glory. This, oh, God, we ask. This, we thank you for and we honor you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Come on, praise the Lord. Can we bless the name of the Lord? Come on, clap your hands right where you are. Come on, everybody, clap your hands. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad in oh, it. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad. So we sing. Hallelujah. We bless your name. Bless your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you praise, we praise your name, hallelujah. We lift you high in this place, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad. So we sing hallelujah. We bless your name. We praise your name. Hallelujah. We praise your name. We praise your name. Hallelujah. We lift you high. We lift you high in this place. Yeah, yeah. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be so we sing. Hallelujah. We bless your name. We bless your name. Hallelujah. We praise you. We praise your name. Oh, hallelujah. We lift you high in this place. Yeah. 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 Come on, everybody, clap your hands and give him glory. Come on, give him praise and glory. For there's none like our Lord. Hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah! 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 We say hallelujah! I say hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah. We say ha, hallelujah. 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 Come on, clap your hands and give up glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah. We say ha, hallelujah. Come on, everybody, praise him. There's none like our Lord. He is good. He is great. He is mighty. Oh. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We say ha. Hallelujah. I say Hallelujah. 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 I say Hallelujah. Come on, praise him. Clap your hands. For he is good. And his mercy endures forever. I say, hallelujah. Come on, give him praise. We give you glory, Jesus. We give you honor. Hallelujah. Can you simply lift up your hands right where you are? Lift up your hands to the Lord say something magnify his name bless him from the fruit of your lips come on fill this room with his praises from the fruit of your lips come on come on open up your mouth unto the Lord thank you Jesus hallelujah there's none like the Lord we give you praise, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. We bless your name, O oh God. There is a name that's a place I can run and be safe. There is a name that can heal, calm my storms, peace be still. I can call. On that name and be saved, things will change. Stand and proclaim, there is no other name than Jesus. Jesus. There is a name. There is a name. That's a place. That's a place. I can run. I can run. And be safe. And be safe. There is a name. There, there is, is a name. name that can heal. heal. Calm my storms. Calm my storms. Peace be still. Peace be still. I can call. I can call. On that name. On that name. And be saved. Things will change. Things will change. Stand and proclaim. Stand and proclaim. There is no other name than Jesus. Can we say that one more time? Jesus. Stand and proclaim. There is no other name than Jesus. That name heals all. That name delivers all. It works. It works. How many of you all know that? It works. Come on, everybody. Let's say that together. That name. That, that name. name heals all. That name. That name delivers all. It works. It works. Come on, it works. It works. It works. It Let's works. say it together. Hey. Oh, that name heals all. Delivers all. There's power in the name of Jesus. It works. It works. It works. It works. It works. Oh, the name heals all. The name heals all. The name delivers all. It works. It works. It works. It works. There's power in His name. It works. It works. 
There's power in this name. Oh, the name heals all. The name heals all. The name delivers all. There is no other name. There's no greater name than Jesus. 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 Come on. Stand and proclaim. Stand and proclaim. Lift up your voice to the Lord. There's no greater name. And declare there's no other name than Jesus. Jesus. together and give the Lord praise for he's good and his mercy endures forever hallelujah at this moment we're going to turn the further services over into the hands of evangelist Purdom and she will take us further Jesus all this power in your name hallelujah hallelujah we give you glory, Jesus. We give you honor, Jesus. Hallelujah. Evangelist Purdom is coming at this moment. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, stand and proclaim. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless your Lord. Glory to God. God bless you. Hey, Jesus. Well, bless your Lord. Oh, my God. I give you my praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My, my, my. Amen. Amen. Wonderful, Jesus. We give God praise for the praise and worship. Hallelujah. My, 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 my. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I just love. Amen. When the Spirit of the Lord is worship. Hallelujah. Into the service. My God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, I'm excited. And I'm going to, amen, try to maintain a certain amount of temperance. Amen, because, oh, glory be to God. Amen. God is a real good God. Ah, yes, amen, amen. Yes, he is. Tonight, praise the Lord, amen. We're here tonight, amen, amen, to celebrate, amen, our annual Pentecost. Amen, praise the Lord. Mm. I'm your mistress of ceremony. Now, before I get started, let me just do the ordering. First, I want to give honor to the Lord. My Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I come in and give him praise. Son of God. God, our creator. Mm -hmm. Above whom there is no other. All right. I didn't come here to preach, but I'm just giving God all my praise. My, 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 my. He's a wonderful God. I do. Honor the Lord. Amen. I give honor and respect. Amen. To quote, visionary, unquote, Dr. Willis Sanders, Sr.
presiding bishop of this great fellowship. Churches, fellowship of churches. And I'd like to, if you don't mind, I'd like to honorably mention, amen, the late mother, Bertha Sanders. To God be the glory. We honor the Lord. Mm. Oh, bless you, Jesus. Amen. For our vice presiding bishop, Elder Bernard Steele. His first lady, amen, Elder Alice Steele. To bishop-elect Will Sanders, Jr. And his first lady, Elder Katrina Sanders. Amen, amen. Oh, bless the Lord. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. Now, to all of the dictaries, all our bishops, their companions, our overseers, elders, pastors, what have you in the position of the Lord and your companions. We honor the Lord in the presence of our speaker tonight. Bishop Roberts, and I would be remiss if I didn't honor my own pastor, Pastor Kara Purdom, in the answer of her companion, Deacon Purdom, and in the answer of our own overseer, Doris Jean Bailey. Now, may God bless them. May God bless them. Bless them. Bless every one of you. Amen. We thank and praise God for the Yet for the gift of the Holy Ghost that yet abide in our soul, we give God praise, amen, for the magnificent word that the Lord has given us in this revival service. Started last night, amen, by our own illustrious, amen, Elder Alice Steele. I give God praise. Because he asked the question, do you know, are you in the will of God? All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm going to get into this mission of ceremony, and I'm going to tell the Lord thank you for all of you. Amen. We give God praise for every one of you. Tonight we come, amen, to hear some more good word. Amen. We just want to encourage you. Here. Open up your ears and let the word of God, amen, sink down in it. Amen. And be obedient. Now right here, amen, I can keep on talking, but I will not. I will have, amen, praise God. I will honor the Lord, and I will honor our leaders, and I will honor our, praise God, amen, this service tonight. Oh, yeah, we can shout to the hills, baby, but tonight we come to hear the word. Oh, bless the Lord. Amen. Right here, we want you, amen, to, amen, praise God. Give honor and praise the Lord. Give him recognition for a welcome. Oh, wait a minute. Amen. A welcome and occasion. By our own sister Cheryl Campbell. God bless you. Amen. Tell the Lord thank you as you come. All right, All right baby. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I'm going to stay in my place tonight. Amen. And do what, amen, I'm on the program to do. Amen, but like my sister here, I'm excited. Oh, yes, I am. I'm happy. Uh -huh. For the benefit, baby. I thank God. <laughs> amen. First, giving honor to the Lord tonight, amen, in the presence of our bishop, our presiding bishop, amen. Dr. Willie Sanders, Sr. Amen to our own bishop, Sam. Amen. To all other bishops. To all other ministers, to all other first ladies, first men, you know, pastors, to the whole household of faith, to everyone who is here tonight, amen, truly, I thank God. I thank God for this opportunity. Well, God bless your heart. I thank God for being here tonight, hallelujah, to extend a welcome, amen, to all who are in the house tonight, amen. Amen, I thank God. Amen, I thought about our own First Lady Mac. All right. In my spirit, I hear. All 
All right. She Wake up. Hey, man, I ain't trying to take that from her, but until I know what she mean now. All right, then. I used to hear when she gave her welcome, she would just stand up and just. Just welcome. Uh -huh. Then she sing Pentecost. I said, I know now. Yeah. I feel it now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Here's that I call. know what she meant. I thank God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Woo. 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 Hallelujah, I'm glad to be here. It's mighty good to be here. Amen, we take so much for granted. We thought we would be here every year. Thought we would see each other every year. Enjoy each other's fellowship every year. But oh, look, when something hit, all right, something unusual, something out of the ordinary. Well, Tonight, yeah, yeah. Today, after that, I can say welcome. Oh, oh, oh. welcome, 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 hallelujah. Amen. 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 And welcome back, hallelujah. Yeah, that's it. Cause this is my first time being in the house in Pentecost. Cause we didn't have it 2019. Uh huh. We did it virtual 2020. My God, my God. But we are here today. We are here today to look on each other's face, to appreciate one appreciate. another. Huh? Y'all, I'm just happy. I want to extend a welcome to each and every one. <laughs> welcome, welcome to our annual Pentecost, which is our occasion, and I pray to God that we continue. To be able to gather together. Yeah. yeah. To have Pentecost. Yeah. You're welcome once. You're welcome twice. You're welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. My God, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You are welcome. So glad to see you, baby. So glad to see you. My, 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 my. So glad to see you. My God, it's just, it's just so good to see you. All right. So good to see you. All right, let me just go on. Bless the Lord. Amen, amen. Right here, praise the Lord. Amen. We're going to turn this part of the service into the hands of, amen, who will see Jimmy Williams and the elders for the take of the offering. Oh, did I miss something, honey? What did I miss? Oh, bless the Lord. <laughs> He said, we missed a song. <laughs> Selection. Okay, baby. Well, tell the Lord thank you. <laughs> tell the Lord thank you. Oh, yeah. We, we are happy to bring the offering. Oh, yes, we are. God bless your heart. Amen, amen. And I'm going to be quiet right here because I'm just excited. I'm excited as to what God has done, what I see him doing, manifesting. How God is demonstrating. All right. Our system pastor, God bless your heart. I, please, please forgive me. Please forgive me. All the system pastors, God bless you. Amen. Amen. We honor you tonight. Right here, let me hush my mouth in the hands of the offering. Elder, God bless your heart.
Amen. We thank you for your giving. Amen. We ask you, amen, if you would, lift up your hands, amen. I often ask them here at the way, amen, to hold your hands in this position. Amen. And hold them up high because, amen, God sits high and looks down low. When you're looking to receive something from somebody, you hold your hands out like this. But because he is God, the Father God in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come as humble as we know how. Say, so God, we just want to say thank you. Lord, we thank you for each and every one that's here today, Lord. Lord, we thank you for those that sowed their seed, God. Lord, don't let them feel a loss, Lord, but you bless them as you see fit. In the name of Jesus, somebody say amen. Somebody say overflow. Somebody say overflow. Amen. Back in the hand of the MC, amen. Let's give her a hand as she come around. Amen. Praise God. We give him praise. Amen unto the Lord. Right here, praise God. We're going to ask you, amen, praise him. Amen. Set your hearts, amen, to receive a selection, amen, from the praise team. God bless your hearts. Amen. Amen. Can we put our hands together and give God praise? Amen. Come on, put your hands together, everybody. Did you come to have Pentecost? Let's give the Lord praise. Enter his gates. Enter his gates. With Into his courts. Into his courts. With into his gates, into his gates, into his courts, into his courts, with pride. Be thankful, be thankful unto him, be thankful, be thankful unto him, be thankful, be thankful unto him, be thankful, thankful unto him, and bless, and bless. And bless and bless his name. Come on, clap your hands. Come on, clap them like you love the Lord. Into his gates. Into his gates. Faith. Into his courts. Into his courts. With praise. Into his gates. Into his gates. Into his courts, into his courts, with praise. Be thankful, be thankful unto him. Be thankful, thankful unto him. Be thankful, thankful unto him. Be thankful, thankful unto him. And bless, and bless, and bless, and bless, and bless. And bless, bless his name. Come on, can we clap our hands? Into his gates. Into his gates. With thanks. Into his court. Into his court. With praise. With praise. Into his gates. Into his gates. With thanks. With into his court, into his court, with praise, with praise. Oh, be thankful, be thankful unto him, 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 and bless, and bless, and bless, and bless. Hallelujah. The Lord is worthy. 
Hallelujah. Oh, we've come to praise. We've come to praise His name. We've come to praise His name. We've come to praise His name. We've come to give Him glory. We've come to praise His name. We've come to give Him honor. We've come to praise His name. We've come to praise His name. We've come to praise His name. There's none like the Lord. We've come to praise His name. He's our provider. We've come to praise His name. Our sustainer. We've come to praise His name. My everything. We've come to praise His name. Come on, let's bless Him. We've come to praise His name. We've come to praise His name. We've come to praise His name. For His goodness. We've come to praise His name. For His mercy. We've come to praise His name. Come on and bless the Lord. We've come to praise Him. Come on and bless the Lord. We've come to praise Him. Come on and bless the Lord. We've come to praise Him. Hallelujah. We come to praise. We come to praise. Come on and praise His name. We come to praise. Do 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 do. We come to praise. We have come to give Him glory. We come to praise. We come to give Him honor. We come to praise. Come on and clap your hands. We come to praise. Come on and stomp your feet. We come to praise. Let's praise the Lord. We come to praise. Come on, everybody, clap your hands. Stomp your feet. We come to praise. Cause the Lord is. We come to praise and his mercy endure. We come to praise his name forever. We come to praise his name forever. We come to praise his name forever. Oh, I bless the Lord. We come. Oh, I bless the Lord. We come. Oh, I bless the Lord. We come to praise his name. 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 We come to bless. And bless 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 What the song say, we come to praise him. We come to praise him on tonight. We come to praise him. It is Pentecost. And we just thank and praise the Lord for being here on tonight in the presence of our Dr. Bishop Willis Sanders, Bishop Steele, Bishop Shelley, Bishop Mack, Bishop Junior, Bishop, Bishop, that's right, it's all right, Bishop. Bishop January, Minister Dahl, my pastor, the after my overseer, I just thank and praise the Lord for being here on tonight. You all, you know, God is so good. He is so good that we are able to see each other in 2021. We are six months into this year. And if you think about it, last year, six months into the year, so much had happened. So much has went on. So y'all, I'm grateful and I'm thankful and I'm not going to prolong the time any longer. We're going to call up Pastor Kerry Purdom to come and introduce our speaker. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. I said, praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. I said, I want to honor the Lord tonight. Amen. In the present, amen. All our bishops, amen. Amen. To the first lady, all the elders, amen. The minister, the pastor, to everybody that make up this great Holy Ghost field congregation. I said, God is a good God. I'm thankful on tonight. I'm grateful. Amen, that God had blessed me to be here another night in Pentecost. Amen, God is a good God. Amen, amen, we getting ready for round two. Amen, we getting ready to eat again. Amen, we ate real good on last night. Amen. 
I received my healing on last night. God is good. Hallelujah, he's good. Amen, and I thank God how he blessed me, amen. I said my voice is coming back. I had to get my thyroid removed, but I said, God. Yields, <laughs> younger yields, amen. At this time, praise the Lord, we're going to ask you to stand up on your feet. Amen. At this time, praise the Lord, we're going to ask you to open up your heart. Open up your ears. I'm not going to tell you to sit back and relax. I want you on the edge of your seats. <laughs> amen. Uh, at this time, praise the Lord, we're going to yield the floor over to our own Bishop Shelley Roberts. Amen. God bless you. Love you. Come on, clap those hands and give God praise. Come on, clap your hands and give Him praise. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, clap up. Come on, clap your hands. Come on now, open up your mouth and bless him. Come on, open up your mouth and bless him. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. God, we give you praise. God, we give you glory. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we reverence you tonight. Hallelujah. You're the sovereign God, the creator. Hallelujah. God, we bless you. 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 Hallelujah. God, you're worthy. Hallelujah. 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 Our God is so good. Our God is so awesome. He is mighty. And he is worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun until the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is to be praised. And I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm glad to be among my inheritance tonight. For my inheritance are among those who are sanctified. Hallelujah. Woo, glory. Father, we bless your name on tonight. We give you glory on tonight and we reverence you. We honor you in this sacred and holy place. Father God, I thank and praise you for this opportunity and this time that you have afforded me to stand before your precious people and declare unto them the word that you have shared with me. Now, Father, help me, God, that I may properly execute that word, God. Believe that it's going to go ground deep, it's going to be planted water, and it shall yield an increase. And we thank you, Father, that we will leave with every need met, no lack. We thank you, Father, that Satan is defeated, darkness is dispelled, and Jesus is Lord. And we bless you now in the name of our Lord and Savior, the risen Christ. Somebody clap those hands and give him praise in the place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may have your seat. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's just an honor to be here on tonight. Amen. I know that protocol has already been given. Amen. But I do honor my pastor. Amen. Our senior presiding bishop. Amen. Our bishop, Dr. Willie Sanders Sr. Come on, clap those hands and bless the Lord. Amen. In the sanctuary. Amen. And to our assistant presiding bishop, amen, Bishop Steele, co-pastor Steele, and to all of the bishops, amen, and we follow the protocol that has been set. Amen. It's just good for us to be here. Hallelujah. And I'm just glad to be in the service one more time. For he didn't have to let me live. He didn't have to let me live, but he allowed me to live to be in the service just one more time. And I got one more time to bless him. I got one more time to praise him. I got one more time to lift him up. I got one more time to magnify him. I got one more time to clap my hands. I got one more time to do my dance. I got one more time to rejoice because the Lord is good. And he gave us one more chance. One more time, one more time to be in the service. Just one more time. 
Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor. Just put your finger up one more time. One more time. One more time. Woo. Hallelujah. 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 I'm excited about the God of my salvation. Amen. I'm excited. Amen. Because in the midst of what we've been going through, he's been yet keeping me. Amen. And it wasn't a struggle for me to want to be saved. Hallelujah. Because he is the God that knows all, sees all. Come on now. Hallelujah. Amen. I found that some of the saints through the time of the pandemic was struggling. Oh, y'all ain't going to talk tonight. They were struggling. I found some of the saints and the people of God were saying, pray for my mind and pray for my joy and pray for my this and pray for my that. And I said, Lord, we got to know that we can serve you when times are good and when we up on the hill and all of that. But what about the God that we say we serve when times are bad and times are hard? And come on now. Come on now. What about he's the same God and he changed not? Hallelujah. And he cares for us. Amen. He cares for us. Amen. There comes a time when your words will try you and they will come for you. Amen. He's the same God. Amen. That we were shouting about three years ago. Hallelujah. He's the same God. Hallelujah. He's the same God. If he made a way once before, guess what? He'll do it again. <laughs> Because he's the same God. He's the same God. And I praise the Lord for that. Amen. The Lord has brought us through many things. Amen. And for that, I'm grateful on tonight. I want to say in advance, amen, of the word on tonight. Uh, you all excuse my voice if it cracks up or goes out or, you know, just sounds a little weird to you. But, you know, in December, I had to have surgery that I didn't know I was supposed to have. And so I had to have a cervical fusion. And so the doctor told me, he said, your voice may come back. It may not. He said, some people do, some people don't. You know, so I don't know, maybe y'all ain't never been in a season where you didn't, you know, you didn't think you were going to be able to praise God like you had been praising God. You know, and I began to tell God, I said, God, my voice is my utensil. My voice is my tool. Come on now. Not just naturally speaking in the world that I work in, but spiritually speaking, because you called me to preach the gospel. And the gospel comes out of my voice. And I remember talking to Bishop about it. And Bishop said, listen, you don't have to accept what the doctor said. Come on now, y'all. Y'all know we good at telling other people, but sometimes you just need somebody to tell you because faith comes by what? Hearing and hearing by the word of God. Come on now. So Bishop had to continue to stir my faith. And I said, you know right, God, he is exactly right. I don't have to accept what they say. And so often I've looked the doctor in the face and said, I heard what you said, but I don't have to accept that. Whose report will you believe? I choose to believe the report of the Lord. And his report says, I am healed. His report says, I am healthy. His report says, I am, come on now, whose report? Will you believe? Woo, glory. So my voice came back, but I sounded like Mickey Mouse. And I said, but Lord, that's all right. It's going to be good after a while. Hallelujah, because I have to praise you. Amen. But I just thank God that sometimes, you know, I remember when they used to say that, I can always wave my hand. Come on now. There is no reason why we come into the house of the Lord and we can't give him some kind of praise. Come on, if you can't say a word, you can wave your hand. Come on now, if you can't say a word, you can't jump up on your feet. Hallelujah, you can't say a word, you can clap your hands. Hallelujah, but if you got a voice, you ought to be able to lift your voice and magnify him. For the Lord our God is worthy. I say he's worthy. I say he's worthy. Woo, glory. Hallelujah, going to the word of the Lord, amen. Coming from the book of Acts chapter 1. Hallelujah. In the book of St. Mark, chapter 1. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 1, I'm going to be reading verses 1 through 8. St. Mark, I'm going to read chapter 1, verses 16 through 18. And I guarantee you, if you just help me out a little bit, hey amen, I'm not going to be before you long anyway, but I'll be extra short. Hey amen, if you just help me out. 
Amen. The former treaties have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and teach, until the day in which he was taken up. After that, he, through the Holy Ghost, had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them forty days, and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem. But wait, somebody said, wait for the promise of the Father, which saith he, ye have heard of me. For truly John baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized, somebody say, with the Holy Ghost? Not many days hence. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power, but ye shall receive, somebody say, power! After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Mark chapter 1, verse 16 through 18. Now, as he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become some Somebody said, fishers of men. And straightway they forsook their nets and followed him. And my key verse tonight is coming from Mark chapter 1 and 17. And Jesus said unto them, come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. Hallelujah. Can I talk to y'all for about 15 and a half minutes? Hallelujah. So my text on tonight, hallelujah, glory to God is good fish in nasty water. Good fish in nasty water. And I will make you fishers of men. I believe overseer, every good fisher person got a net. Y'all gonna go with me for a few minutes. Oh, y'all couldn't see it on this side. Good fish. In nasty water. Hallelujah. We're here for Pentecost. Amen. And I believe because if we didn't know him or we had got away from him on last night, hallelujah, after the word of the Lord and the ministry of the Holy Ghost, amen, we're now back in our rightful place. Hallelujah. Now we got to come on back now and do the work that he called us to do in the beginning. Glory to God. He told us to go out into the highways and the hedges and do what? Compel men to come. And the good thing that I like about what Jesus told them, and he said, come ye after me and I will make you to become fishers of men. He didn't say because you are a pastor or because you are a bishop or because you are an evangelist or because you are a prophet or because you are a teacher. There was no title in the front of that. He said, and I will make you fishers of men. Sometimes some people feel like they can't go fishing for men because they don't have a title in front of their name. Listen, if you've been born again and baptized in the book of Acts, he said, I have called you and endued you with power that you might be a witness. A witness of what? A witness unto me. It's time to go fishing because there's good fish in nasty water. Glory to God. When we're talking about nasty water, hallelujah, we're talking about sin, hallelujah, transgression and iniquity. Thank you for last night, co-pastor, hallelujah. Glory to God. I said, Lord, I thank you because God will always confirm his word, hallelujah. So when we deal with sin, just a quick recap, it's a transgression of a religious or a moral law, hallelujah. Sometimes we think that sin is because people commit fornication or they commit adultery or they may be in the church or they may be lying. But it's the transgression of a moral law. 
The Bible said, whatsoever your hands find to do that is good. He said, go ahead and do that. You don't have to pray about it. You don't have to fast about it three days. He said, if it's good, he said, put your hands to it and do it. Sometimes we need to repent from the sin of omission and the sin of commission because we omit to do things because we worried about what somebody going to say. To violate a religious or a moral law. What is sin? Deliberate disobedience to the known will of God. What is sin? A condition of estrangement from God resulting from such disobedience. Glory to God. So when I was talking to the Lord about it, hallelujah, and I said, Lord, you want me to deal with this thing? He said, yeah, because it's time for my people to go fishing. But many people are afraid to go fishing because the water is nasty. He didn't tell you to worry about the condition of the water. He told you it was fish out in the water. And in order for you to see the vision and the plan of God, you've got to get outside of yourself, your idea, your opinion, your thought processes, how and what you think and feel about it. Because they are good fish and nasty water. Ah, sin is a transgression. Glory to God. Transgression. So there is sin. When sin is not dealt with, hallelujah, it moves on into transgression. Transgression, hallelujah, the exceeding of due bounds or limits. Hallelujah, when sin, if it's not dealt with, it moves to transgression. Transgression is not dealt with, it moves to iniquity, which is gross immorality, injustice, or wickedness. And when we look out at society, and when we look out at our world today, we can look across it and we can see that there is gross darkness coming upon, hallelujah, the face of the earth, because they're calling wrong right, and calling right wrong, and they're trying to change the doctrine of Jesus Christ but you better know your Bible told us to be watchful against the doctrine of devils and also the doctrine of men but there's good fish in nasty water hallelujah hallelujah iniquity is an unjust act and I began to ask the Lord, hallelujah, y'all. I'm, I'm going through my papers because I had to read and I have to study. Hallelujah, glory to God. I began to ask the Lord. And he said so many times, hallelujah, in the church, church people always want to talk about the fornicator. And they want to talk about those that commit adultery. But what about those that are out in the streets, in the nasty water, that are prostitutes? What about the drug addicts? What about those who carry the effeminate spirit? Hallelujah. You can't be afraid to go fishing. Glory to God. And I remember the first time when Pam tried to get me to go fishing. And I was like, there's nothing about fishing that I like except for eating the fish. And so Pam began to tell me, she said, Pastor, I guarantee you the first time you try it, you're going to like it. So we were down in Tuscaloosa. And so she gave me, we went out fishing with some other people and another pastor. And y'all, I can't swim, or should I say I cannot swim, but I am very adventurous and I love the water. And a lot of time God talks to me and he deals with me when I'm by the water. So this time we were out there, and so I believe I had a cane pole. Isn't that what you call it, Pam? Didn't I have a cane pole? I had a pole. And it had a little had a wire on the end. Of it. They didn't give me one with the real co because they said, you don't know how to fish yet. But they gave me a cane pole. And so we were down there in the creek in the river of Tuscaloosa. So I took the cane pole and Pam said, this is how you do it. You have, you know, you lean back and then you cast it. Y'all ain't saying nothing. See, sometimes reason the saints don't go fishing is because they haven't been taught how to fish. And you can't catch and do that that you have not been taught how to do. So we in the body of Christ have got to go back to teaching people how to fish. Because there's good fish. It's just a nasty walk. So we were out there and so she put the bait on my hook. I ain't even want to put the bait on. Put the bait on it. And she said lean back and cast it out there. So the first time I think I tried to cast it, it didn't do nothing. The next time I tried to cast it, it got stuck in the bush. And then she had to go get it because it was stuck in the bush. So then I said, you know, I got to get the hang of it. I said, Shelly, you got to lean back with it. And you got to relax with it. 
And you got to have the confidence to know that you can do this. So then I went out there and I cast, glory to God, the, the line out. And so the line hit the water, and I like the little bub bobble. Ain't that the bobble now? Okay. And so I like the little bobble because I like to see it float. And so then they taught me, they said, once you catch a fish and the fish get on the line, it'll take the bubble and it'll pull it underwater. And when it pull it underwater, that lets you know that there's something on the line. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. So the first time I took it out there, and the first time and the second time, but that third time, I said, lean back, girl. Follow the instructions. And she said, throw your arm out there and cast it. And I cast it out there. And it didn't stay out there long. And y'all, the next thing I know, Mother Williams, God, I had a fish on the line. And I began to bring that fish in. And I, but I didn't know how to fish. We out here on the bank. We out here on the, is it the dock? The bank. Okay. See, I got my schooling now. I got my teachers. We out here on the bank. But y'all, I'm so excited. I got a fish on the line. I started rocking and doing like this, and the fish was flying everywhere. I almost knocked the pastor in the lake. But I was excited. Because I had a fish on the line. But they didn't tell me what to do with him after I got him on the line. So all I was was excited. And they was like, be careful. He flying all over the air. And I'm just waving. And they said, get, and I think it was Pam said, give, give it to me. Let me get him in for you. So she got him in. And I think that night on my first fishing trip, I caught three crappies. And I was so excited because I was learning how to fish. Wasn't they crappies? Crappies. Y'all talk sometime. I don't know what you're saying. They were fish. It was crappies. Crappies. Okay. I know it was fish. And I know it must have been good because the pastor took it home, cleaned it, and then she put some grease in the skillet, and she fried it up. And she ate it. But I didn't want to eat none because it came out of the water. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I didn't want to eat none because it didn't come out of the grocery store. It wasn't filleted out the fish market. But I caught it. Somebody else cleaned it. They fried it so we could eat. Y'all ain't saying nothing. But because I was somewhat fish bougie, it wasn't what I wanted to eat so I didn't eat it. How many times does people go fishing and they bring souls in the church? But because they don't look like what you think they ought to look like. They not, may not be dressed how you think they ought to dress. They may not be talking correct like you think they ought to correct. And you reject it because it's not up to your standard. Maybe there are some good fish out there. They're just in nasty water. And you can't cook it until you catch it. Woo! It's some good fish. It's some good fish. But they're in nasty water. They're in sin. They're in iniquity. Some people never heard of the name of Jesus. Don't you know as many people walking the streets have never heard of the name of Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. Woo, glory. They're good fish. But they don't look like us. Why? Because they haven't been cleaned up. But they good fish. Some of them are talented. Some of them are gifted. Some of them are anointed. They good fish. They just got in nasty water. But we're the called out ones. We're the way. We're the chosen ones. We're the ones that said we be endowed with power. We the come ones that come in here and we sing and we shout and we hi yeah 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 But then you can't go out there and go fishing because some of you don't know how and the ones that do you're scared and some of y'all is rusted because you haven't fished in so long. They are good fish. They just in nasty water. They had to teach me how to cast. 
my line. They had to teach me when the turtle got on it. I called for help because in the midst of the fish, you got snapping turtles. You got snakes. But you got some good fish. They just surrounded by bad things <laughs> and some nasty water. So when I got my first snapping turtle, I had to call Pam. And I'm on one side of the creek, and she all the way on the other side. And I said, yo, Pam. She said, what is it, Pam? I said, I got a snapping turtle on the line. See, sometimes we need the experience to come and help us to go fishing. I just don't understand. How do you think the harvest going to come in the church? You think they just going to roll in here on roller skates? You think they going to come up in here on the hoverboard? You think your car look that good? They just going to follow you? He said the harvest is ripe, but the laborers are few. Because y'all scared to go fishing. I'm almost through. So I graduated. And I, I love Pam because she told me and the other people I started getting bold to go with, they said, ooh, she sure know how to cast. One thing I can do, I can lean back. And I can catch it. And I can catch the water. And I can lean back. And I learn how to turn around and look for the trees to make sure that my line don't get caught in the tree. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Then I begin to lean back, take my arm back, and then throw it out there and cast it. And then I learn how to lock it. Lord have mercy. See, when you out there and you fishing for souls, baby, when you cast your net and they take a bite, you better learn how to lock that thing so it, the devil don't cause it to come up off that line. And then they taught me, take your time and bend it back and reel it on in. Baby, when you catch that fish, when you catch that soul, you better hook it with the word of God and you better reel it on Then I graduated. A few years later, Pam, I love her. She said, listen, Pastor, you be interrupting my fishing. If anybody know like I know, when it comes to fishing, she's she just something else. She's something else. She said, you interrupt my fishing. It's time for you to learn how to put the bait on. See, sometimes we stay bathed too long in the church. And you need to grow up. Come on, y'all ain't saying nothing. You need to grow up. So she began to show me how to put the bait on. So the first time, and I used to catch, catch worms and baits when I was little. Let them run through my finger, but it's something about when you got to put it on the hook. And I didn't want to do that. But then I didn't want to have to keep calling her. I wanted to be a big girl. And she said, Pastor, you got to put your big girl clothes on now. So you can put that bait on there. And she showed me one time. And then I told her, I said, girl, give me some gloves because it just squished it. I said, give me some gloves. And I began to hook that bait on that line. And you better know when I hook that bait on that line. And then I cast my line out there in the water. And I caught a fish off the bait that I put on the line. Right. Woo. Hey. Woo. Glory to God. You better know that was a good feeling. And then I tried to be extra big girl. And then I had gloves on and I tried to take the fish off the line. But he kept moving around and he kept jumping and he scared me. So I called Pam. I said, Pam. Here I come, Pazza. I said, come get the fish. And come get him off the line. But I was excited. Because I had caught me a good fish. I had evaded the snapping turtles. 
I had evaded the snakes. I had evaded, you know, sometimes there are logs and the marsh and the grass that's down there that the fish like to hide into. Come on now. But you can't give up. And the one thing that I've learned about fishing is that it's very relaxing, but you must have patience. Sometimes in the church we lose patience with people because they don't move as fast as we think they ought to move. Because they're not doing it as quick as we think they ought to be doing it. Baby, when you take somebody that's unlearned and has never been in church before, never been around the saints before, you got to take time and you got to teach them. They're not going to get everything in a two-week service or in a two-hour service. You don't get everything in a two-hour service. And then you don't even go to Bible class. You don't even go to prayer meeting. You don't even go to Sunday school. So how do you think an unbeliever going to come in and just get it just like that? I learned in fishing, there's something that's called lures. Hallelujah. And if you're going to fish, you got to have the right type of lure. And there are pros to having fishing lures. It allows you to cast further than using live bait. Hallelujah. I learned that lures are better for catch and release because the fish are less likely to gulp the entire hook. Lures allow you to target a species more accurately. Hallelujah. And if you use them correctly, fishing lures can be your best friend. I learned that there are crankbaits. I learned that there are jigs. I learned that there are spinnerbaits. I learned that there are spoons. I learned that there are worms, frogs, and crawfish. I learned that there are flies. I learned that there's something called a rat ale trap. I thought they would talk about a rattler trap. But when I looked it up, it said rat ale trap. I learned that when you use a rat trap, you can burn it. You can do the stop and go. And you can do the yo-yo. I learned that there's top water fishing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. But for whatever kind of fish that you're out fishing for, there's a certain bait that you have to use to attract that fish. Well, y'all, we got the best bait in the whole wide world because we got the name of Jesus Christ. We got the best lure because we got the Holy Ghost. I tell you, we got the best tackle box because we got the Word of God. There's no reason why we can't go fishing and get good fish in the nasty water. As I come down to my conclusion, there's something that I said I wanted to do. Amen. And Pam looked at me and she was like, I don't know why you want to do that. And I told her, I said, I was watching the show. You know, overseer where they get in the water and they go and they lay down in the water, but they in the muddy water. It's called new. There you go. See, I did my homework. It's called noodling. So you use your bare hands and you get in the water and you get down in the mud and you search for the holes that's underneath in there. And you stick your hand down in the hole, and the catfish will latch onto your arm, and then you pull it out. Hallelujah. It's time to go fishing, because it's good fish in nasty water. I learned that there are 66 types of fish. Good God Almighty, there's the anchovy, there's the bass, there's the bluefish, I like butterfish, there's calamari, I love me some farm-raised catfish, fried extra crispy, there's crab, blue king and snow, there's croaker, love me some flounder, how about you, you like red snapper? like me a little group. Uh, it's haddock, it's halibut, it's herring, uh, it's lobster, it's my my. There's even a little mackerel. You got orange ruffy uh, and you got ocean perch. Uh, you got Pollock, uh, you got stable fish, you got rainbow trout, uh, you got salmon, uh, you got sardines, uh, you got sea trout, uh, you got shark, uh, you got shrimp, uh, you got sole, uh, you got Spanish mackerel. You got squid, you got swordfish, you got tilapia, you got tuna, you got walleye, you got weak fish, you got white croaker, and you got whitening. That's just some of the types of fish. Well, guess what? Out in the nasty water, there are different types of fish. You got some walking around, they got collars on their neck, they got rainbow hair. They got wings in the nose. 
They got shorts on with nothing else on. They smoking the blunt. They got a joint. They got a bag of weed. They got cocaine. They on the corner. They in the drug house. They don't know if they a man or a woman. You got drag queens. You got highs. You got laws. But they good fish. In nasty water. Cash your net. Cash your net. He said, I'll make you fishers. What are you going to do with the Holy Ghost? What are you going to do with the power? When are you going to be a witness? He said, it's time to cash your net. Take out your rod and your reel. Leave your opinion at the door. Leave your ideologies at the door. Leave your man-made doctrine at the door. Take the word of God. Tell them that Jesus loves you. Tell them that Jesus saves. Tell them there's hope. Tell them you can be delivered. Tell them you can be free. It's good fish in there. Oh God! Hey, 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 hey! Oh yeah! My God! Oh yeah! Ah! Somebody say reset! Say reset me, Lord! Make me a good fisher! It's time for me to go fishing! Don't you give up on your family! Don't you give up on your loved ones! Don't you give up on them connected to you! Don't you give up on your husband! Don't you give up on your wife! They may be in jail! They may be in the crack house! But they are good fish! They just in nasty water! Go get them! Go fishing! Go out in the deep! Cast your nets! Go get the fish! What a word, what a word. There's good fish and nasty water. You know, if you think about it, hey, yeah, 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 hey. I was a good fish and nasty water. And somebody had to come fish me out. Yeah. My yellow boat. My God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, God. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. oh, my God. Yeah, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. My God. Oh, what a word, what a word, what a word. Oh. She said it's time for us to go fishing. To go fishing. Oh my God. My God. Huh. I tell you, if you weren't here last night, we had an awesome word last night. Letting us know, asking us a question Do we know who He is? Do we know? But you know, I just realized. And I already knew this, but if you think about it, if you know who he is and what he has put down in you, then you know that you got to get out there. And it's time to go fishing. It's time, it's time, it's time. I tell you, we're only in night two. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get out there. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Yeah, God. Oh, 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 oh my, <laughs> we're going to have remarks by our bishop-elect, Willie Sanders, Jr. Oh, my God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus in here. Clap your hands for Jesus in here. 
If you're saved and sanctified, clap your hands. Yes, sir. Listen, listen. I want you to know that if you have heard the word on tonight, amen, if you've heard the word on tonight, and your heart has been pricked, even if it hadn't been pricked, even if you, if you don't know Jesus in the pardon of your sins, tonight is your night. As the preachers come and prepare for all to call on tonight, I want you to get your mind set that you're looking for something from Jesus. Let me tell you something. The closer I got to Pentecost, it looked like the bigger the struggle was to get here. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and to destroy. But I've learned along the way that you have to make up in your mind on what you want from God. You have to make up in your mind how far you're going to allow the enemy. Yes, I said allow because it's up to you. Because God gives us strength to press forward. Now, if your strength is a little weak, come to the filling station. It doesn't matter what title we hold. It doesn't matter how long we've been saved, sanctified, and full of the Holy Ghost. But I found out it doesn't matter what model car you have. It may be a Mercedes. It may be a Monte Carlo, but they all got to go to the gas station. And I beseech you on tonight that tonight is your night. Come, come. It may be somebody that you don't have to suffer in silence on tonight. I oftentimes say because don't worry about what people say, how they look at you. How they may look at you out the side of your eye. But I found out nobody has a heaven or hell to put you in. And I'd rather come and get what I need from God than to sit down and walk out of the door the same way that I came. Tonight is your night. Fishers, fishers. And I can imagine, I, I read in the Bible where he told them to cast a net to the other side. But preacher, I saw something live where the fish jumped into the boat on TV. They were in the water, Bishop, and the fish began to jump up in the water. Jump in the boat. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Well, I dare you to jump up in the boat tonight and get what you need from God. Pentecost is a time of refreshing, time of revival, a time of renewal. This is your time. This is your place. I dare you to come try Jesus. How many believe it in here tonight? How many show enough believe it in here tonight? Tonight is your night. Tonight is your night. Come on, tonight is your night. I need the I need thee. Yeah. We are. Oh Lord, I need thee. Oh, bless me now. My Savior, I I come to I come to thee. I need 
Dio ah, ah, I need thee Tonight is your night yeah, 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 yeah. Every hour Oh Lord I need thee Lord Lord bless me now, my Savior, ah, I come, I, I come, how many come in the night? I, I come. I come to thee, yes, 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 Lord, yes, Lord, oh, oh, oh. Yes, Lord, do your will, do your will, I do your will, I do your will, I do your will, oh, I do your will. All I need, 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 oh, all I need. You made a way. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. All I need. All I need. All I need, all I need, all I need, yeah, you all I need. Come on, clap your hands in here. Come on, clap your hands in here. Clap your sanctified hands in here. I dare you to lift your voice. I dare you to give God great praise in the house. Oh, yes. Give him great praise in the house. Clap your hands and lift your voice. Like God has done a mighty work in your life. He's opened doors. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. How many believe he's all you need in here? How many believe in all you need in here? The water is stirred. He's all you need in here. All we got to do is step in the water. Pentecost is miracles. We serve a miracle working God. He can break them. 
He can tell you. You got to believe it. How many believe it in here tonight? Well, I dare you to praise him. I dare you to put your hands together and praise him. Loose the captive and set him free. Loose the chains that are holding you. Loose the chains that are holding you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Power in the name. Salvation in the name. There's healing in the name. I dare you to get it tonight, right where you are. I dare you to get it. I dare you to get it right where you sit. Right where you stand. I dare you to surrender all to God right where you are. Hands don't even have to be laid on you, but I dare you to surrender it to him on the night. Turn it all over to Jesus. Turn it all over to Jesus. Stop worrying about it. Turn it over to him. Stop fighting him. It ain't your fight to fight. Turn it over to Jesus. Oh. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Clap your hands, everybody. Clap your hands, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands. Praise the Lord. Lift your voice. Praise the Lord. Stomp your feet. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands. Praise the Lord. Lift your voice. Praise the Lord. 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 Clap your hands. Stomp your feet. Praise the Lord. Look so far. Praise the Lord. Have you tried Jesus? Have you tried Jesus? Have you tried Jesus? Have you tried Jesus? He's away out of no way. He's away out of no way. Have you tried Jesus? Have you tried Jesus? He's a burden bearer. He's alright. He's a burden bearer. He's alright. Have you tried Jesus? He's alright. Have you tried Jesus? He's alright. 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 He's Come on here. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Whoa.
for all. And at this time, I don't think I see him, but Bishop Hogan? Amen, okay. Next will be our Bishop Casey January, amen. <laughs> <laughs> well, praise the Lord, everybody. Y'all, please sit down, please. We give, we give honor. We give all praise and thanks to God. We honor our presiding Bishop Willie Sanders, Amen, and Bishop Steele and Bishop Elect Sanders and. Bishop Mack and um, there is good fish. When I preach it, I'm gonna say the nasty water got some good fish in. I can't I can't use her title, but what messed me up about the message was I had just saw a video and I was looking at it and I almost laughed because. You saw these two big men in the water, and it was muddy, dirty water. And in the video, it said, wait for it. And all of a sudden, the two men had a young lady by her ankles that was up under the water. And when they began to pull her back up, she had a catfish that was bigger than she was. I used to be slow too, so let me help you. The Spirit of the Lord spoke and said, you need to prepare yourself to get something bigger than what you got. I can't get no help up in here. Some of you been thinking just a little bit too small. You mean to tell me if this little woman can pull up a fish bigger than her? Some of you been thinking, I'm, I'm not qualified to do but I hear the spirit of the Lord saying get ready to put up something bigger than you get ready to do something greater than what you've been doing I believe there's about two or three of y'all up in here that's been saying I know I'm better than this I know I got some better than this and I hear God saying I'm not about to do it I'm not getting ready to do it I'm not fixing to do it but I'm doing it right now somebody hold it right now Bishop R.D. Mann. Amen. Amen. Now we'll have our remarks from our Bishop Bernard Steele. Amen. Let's give him a hand. Praise the Lord, everybody. Didn't we have a word tonight? Hallelujah. I tell you, God is good. And Bishop, he's blessing Pentecost. Amen. And I believe before Sunday is closed out service, God is going to do some work in here, please. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I, I want to say that God has blessed me. Six or eight months ago, I was down. I hadn't preached since October, November. Amen, but I, my staff, amen, they took it over. Amen, but God is going to do some miracles. Amen. He's going to work some miracles in this house. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When, 
Wednesday night, when we got in from Bible study, my wife picked up the phone. And she said, sit down. I got something to tell you. And it ain't good. They said that my baby boy is dead. I said, what? But Bishop, we set the word out. We told the church and all of the saints, pray for Pope Chop. That's what they called them. Saints, the saints got to praying. And I went, we went to the hospital on Friday morning. The doctor said, He's come back. God is a good God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's rising. He's rising. He's rising. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Now, Bishop, he went home. Saturday morning, he went from being dead to going home. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus.
What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, yes. What a mighty God we serve. Now we'll have words from our overseer, Jimmy Williams. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. 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 We give honor, amen, this Pentecost, amen, to our Mazada on Dr. Sanders, amen, to our sister Mazada on Bishop Seal, the elder Seal, to all our bishops. Amen. To my wife, Mother Wee, we thank God for God being such a good God. Thank God for the speaker, Bishop Robert, fishing nets to water. Amen. I know what she's talking about as an average fisherman. Amen. When you go look at that water, it is all stained up, all dirty, and you go and you catch one of those fish, you think you don't want to eat it. Amen. But it's one of the best things you can ever eat. Especially if you catch it on the first day and clean it the same day and cook it the same day. It'll make you shout hallelujah. Amen. But I thank God, amen, fish and nest the water. But I thank God, amen, because amen, amen. I thank God that, amen, when we was at the hospital today, Bishop, uh, J.J. got in the car. They rolled him down. He can wheel the shelf around in the wheelchair, but he got up and sit in the car. See, for those that don't know, my son was in an accident about a couple of weeks ago, and he ain't supposed to be here. They towed the car up from the front. They squashed it up like a like a uh, one of those things you play your music on. Amen. But God kept him. Amen. He put his hip, he put his hip back in place. Amen. He broke his pelvis bone. They had to put three screws in it. Now he got up in the car today and bent his left right leg, the one he messed up, to get up in the car. I said, look at God. Look at God. But it said, the prayer of the righteous, but that is much. So taste and see that the Lord is good. His mercy endure forever. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. For I is the Lord in the foot of God. miracles but look Pentecost just come in and God is already working miracles that you know to me that means somebody was on their job before before Pentecost rolled in so can you imagine if God has started already working miracles what can he do by Sunday by Sunday oh yeah yeah Ooh, uh -uh, yeah Lord is doing. Come looking. And 
and expecting. He didn't say it was going to be all just natural things. Not all natural things. Because, see, we done been through something. Huh? Yeah. And we done survived something. So, you know what? It's time for us to expect our miracles and spiritual healing, spiritual development, working on the battlefield for the Lord. It's time, y'all. He going to put something in some of us. Ha, ha, ha. By the time we leave out of here, oh, Bishop, we're going to have a new group of people. Ha. Oh, yeah, I'm going to sit down there. Ah, woo, woo, okay, God is good, God is good, and I appreciate it, and I thank the Lord for my space on tonight, I appreciate it, now this time let us stand, and let's give our doctor, Bishop Willie Sanders Sr. a hand as he comes, amen. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust. So till I die, I will trust. I will trust Lord, I will trust In the Lord So till I, I die I am going to stay on the path I'm gonna, gonna stay, stay on, on the battlefield. Lord, I will Lord, stay, stay on, on the battlefield. So chill out. I Lord, I'm going to stay on the battlefield until I die. I am going to treat everybody right. I'm going to treat everybody right. What I'm going to treat everybody right So till I die I'm going to treat everybody right I'm going to treat everybody right Come on, let us say amen. You will be seated. Amen. But we thank God for Jesus tonight. To the pulpits. Our speaker tonight. All of the saints of God. How many of y'all thanking God you're here tonight? I praise him for it and I thank God for <laughs> We gotta go around the corner, I believe. <laughs> Amen.
And we praise God for what he have done this night and how he have blessed the saints of God. And certainly we appreciate him. But I do want to say this to Bishop January. Thank God you made a safe trip here. He and his wife. I think he brought a die here about a month ago or two months, a month ago. Amen. And he then went back and had all arrangement made. And he wanted to walk down the aisle and say, I do. The right way. Amen. The right way. Thank God for them. And we was there on this past weekend and we had a load of time. Amen. But we praise God for how he has blessed us tonight and blessed the services. I want to say to Pastor Purdom, I, I looked at you last night. I had that same surgery. Amen. I think it was in 14 or 15. And the doctor told me, he said, well, I said, you might mess your voice up. I said, Doc, I got to preach. So I got to sing. And he didn't tell me all the bad news that my wife got there. And I looked at him. I, I, I might have would have bad if he had told me from the beginning. But I held on. But what I'm saying to you tonight, by faith, you shall receive your voice. You got a, you got a job to do. And, God, and the Lord Jesus know that you need your voice. Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. And I know he can restore it. Isn't that right? If saints go to praying, he can restore it. But by your faith, it shall be done. Amen. By your faith. Y'all ain't saying a word in here. Amen. We in Pentecost. This way, miracle be performed. As Bishop was preaching concerning fishing, and in a heap of time, we don't know how to bait the hook to get what we're looking for. And I believe to this Pentecost got the right base. Almost two years. And I know that the Lord can do all things but fail. We're going to put our trust in him just for you tonight. Amen. Can I do something to you? Give me that oil. Bring her up, bring her up here. Bring her up here. All of all y'all elders, lay hands upon her. Move your mask, mama. Yes, Lord. All I want to do, hold your neck up. There you go. All I want to do is just a nun. In the name of Christ, I shall see thy voice. The blind man, I restore it. And that same God, A to restore your voice. The lame man got up and walked. Oh, what about you tonight? In the name of Jesus, do it for God. Do it, Lord, in many days. God, do it right now in the name of Jesus, and it shall be done. Hallelujah. And I know, I know, I know. Come on, give him praise for it. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise for it. Praise him. 
Praise him, praise him, praise him. Lord Jesus, do it, God. Wonderful, Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. I believe it. You did what? You did what? Thank you, Jesus. He gonna do it. I know he gonna do it. Amen. God bless you.